So talking with you about my trip to Egypt two years ago is completely different from showing you some pictures for my adventure in Egypt. And this is completely true when it came to science. Talking about the theory is completely different from visualizing the theory. In 2009, my supervisor introduced to me some group of compounds called naphthenic acids. Those naphthenic acids exist in, in high concentration in the oil sand staling spawned in the north, and they are very toxic. Very toxic. Um, those compounds in 2012, we found that uh, they are considered as endocrine disruptors, which means that they can manipulate the six genes. In 2012, very disturbing results came where actual fish have changed six after being exposed to those naphthenic acids. The bad news is we are all having some concentration of those naphthenic acids or other disruptors in our body came from cosmetics or uh, some plastic products. However, the good news is they are in a very low concentration. And my role as an environmental scientist is to try to figure out the mechanism of removal of those compounds on the very cheap carbon filter. I did some experiment. I worked with the fundamental uh, thermodynamics calculation, and I found that those compounds can be removed only on the negatively charged sites of the carbon filters. I was very proud that my work has been published in a very uh, prestigious journal. I took my work, and I show my daughter, 10 years old kid, these two pictures for two cups. One of them is clean and one is contaminated. And I told her I found how to remove those compounds. She looked at those pictures and said, Dad, what happened if somebody switched the cups? I said, nothing good. And this is really remind me of the second portion of my passion, that I need to visualize the theory, not just working with fundamentals. In 2013, a very new technique uh, came in a US patent using atomic force microscopy called atomic uh, uh, frequency modulation, which we can map the mechanical property of the surface of the filters. And the, for the first time, I was able to map the surface of the filter before adsorption and after adsorption, and show that the adsorption happened on the negatively charged sites, as you can see from the bottom here. I showed this to my daughter, and she said, Dad, can you make all the surface negative? I said yes, and this is exactly what I wrote in my future work section in my PhD thesis. And this is the level of engagement that I brought through my thesis. So please let us not treat our labs as Vegas. What happened in the lab should not stay in the lab. Thanks so much.